so right now the earbud of the Genki waveform is actually fully charged so I'm gonna, gonna be testing on the basic one which is actually a Bluetooth pairing so what I have with me here is actually the Oppo Find X3 so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna open up the lid and I'm just gonna press refresh and you'll see over here yes waveform put it up closer you see waveform here so click on that and it's gonna pair on pair connecting and it's actually connected right so you can see here it says aptx adaptive okay let's click on go in what are the additional menu so you have device name here it's something that you can change for me i'm just gonna keep it as waveform so I'm gonna cancel there are the options, uh, disconnect, unpair, you can actually use it for phone calls, media audio, contact sharing, and for high quality audio, there's an option to change it. So over here is actually aptx adaptive, switch it off is SBC, switch on is aptx adaptive, and then is device Mac. All right, so this is via Bluetooth with Android device. And in the next segment, we're going to show on how to pair it with iPhone. Right, hi guys. So in this segment of the video, I'll be showing actually how to Bluetooth pair the Genki waveform with an iPhone device. So what I have with me here is actually an iPhone 12 mini. What I'm first going to do is going to open up the lid, see if it has quick pairing. Now it's actually scanning. You can see at the bottom here, something came up. Right, so you see waveform, click on it, start pairing, alright, so you can see here, it's actually connected, so, ah, here you see, right, so we're going to go in, into the additional menu, so you can see here, the first one is actually the name, which you can tap on it to change, but I'm just going to keep it to waveform. Next device type, next device type, you can have a few to change. I'll just select as headphone, back, and then the other two options are connect, disconnect, and forget this device. All right, so this is actually the menu of an iPhone after you've connected with the Genki waveform. So in the next segment, we're going to be showing you the application, the app on an Android device and on an iPhone device. All right, so for this segment of video, we're going to be showing how to install the application of the Genki waveform in an Android smartphone. So the first thing you do is go to Play Store and we are going to search waveform. And you will see the first indication you come up here, Genki waveform, tap on that. Have to see this app, click on install. And it's done. So you tap on open, it's gonna open up the app, and you'll see that it has three options for you. Select a tutorial to connect, Bluetooth connection, wired connection, or dual stream connection. So you're gonna Bluetooth connection is gonna show you how to connect it. All right. Allow Genki waveform to access this device location while using the app. I'm gonna say connect the buds. So we're gonna take the earbuds out, wear them. It says connect, and it's connected. So you can see here that it shows the battery of the left earbud and the right earbud both are a hundred percent. Going to here, firmware update, current version is 1.0.4 and you see the below here there are two options, one is A and C, switch it on, now it's noise cancellation, now it's transparency, Wow, the chime for transparency mode is very nice. It's like it's a, it's an echo. Okay, change to cancellation. Right, it's on noise cancellation mode. It's on ANC mode. Right, then we're gonna switch it off. We're going to the 
equalize it while the animation is really very nice right so you can scroll through various different options depending on what you like all right they also have some uh, eq preset eq for gaming this is racing open world first person shooter you go by default deep bass vocal mellow bright usually i just set it to default so that's about it this is has actually been the installation and the first impression of how to use the application by Genki Waveform. Alright, so in this segment of the video, we're going to be showing you actually how to install the application which is actually meant for the Waveform. So you go to search, this is actually on the iPhone, you go to the App Store and you search Waveform. Search. And you will see this one, Genki Waveform. Click on Get. Now it's installing. It's done and you click on open and do up the whole thing so select a tutorial so it's direct connection so it's up to device eight devices paired you go by direct connection put them on all right so I'm actually going to take out the earbuds and I'm gonna gonna put them on waveform and then got it so it's over here to allow the app to use the Bluetooth click on OK Connect your earbuds or press on connect it. So it's when once you go into it, it says please update the app firmware. Click on OK. And then continue. A few moments later. Alright, so the firmware update is actually done. And we go back to the previous page. And over here, you can see some basic things. You see that the left earbud and the right earbud, they are 100%. So there are two basic commands you see on the uh, commands you see on the front. One is actually the ANC. So you can switch on the ANC. So now it's on transparency. Right. Turn it off. Then go and go with the equalizer. There's a few things you can side scroll. Deep bass, vocal, mellow, bright. Or you can do default, first person shooter, open world, or there's also commands for, or you can do custom, which is neutral. Right, so usually I just set it at default. Alright, back to default. And let's put it down and let's look at here. So multi point is coming soon. So if you're not too sure how to use the, the various ways to connect, so they have connection tutorial and then you actually go through review how to use it. Okay, so this is actually the app, the Genki Waveform app on an iPhone device.